Now, one guy that was probably a little nervous in that ninth inning was pitching coach Matt Blake. I caught up with him on the field earlier today to ask him what it was all like to witness it from his vantage point. Yeah, I mean, I thought, you know, Domingo was in a good rhythm early in the game. He was keeping his pitch count in check. I thought mentally he was in a good spot just in terms of how he's approaching the hitters and, you know, making some good adjustments along the way. And obviously you can start to feel the tension build starting around the fifth inning. But felt like we did a good job of just kind of keeping things the same in between innings, continue to go over to the hitters. I know there was some talk about, you know, chatting his ear off, which I watched some of the video. And I was like, ah, it's probably a little too much. But <laughs> no, it was good. I thought we were in a good spot. And obviously it was fun to see him really compete that. I was going to ask you about that because you were kind of keeping it consistent talking to him after every inning at any point in time did you think uh oh maybe I should I lay, lay off a little bit here or did you want to just try to keep it as normal as possible yeah I felt like after the sixth inning that definitely crossed my mind to like just leaving him alone but you know we were in a good rhythm of just making sure we were going over the first three hitters of each inning and maybe what he'd done previously so at least he had the right mindset going out there what he wanted to do so and it felt like he was asking questions so I was giving him the information he wanted but yeah it definitely crossed my mind <laughs> Now, before the game, he had mentioned afterwards that he had been going through a lot this week with the loss of a, a family member. And going into it, were you wondering how he emotionally was, was going to deal with just making the start? Yeah, and typically that'll go one of two ways. Either you'll kind of channel that into like a really good focus and really uh, energized to go out there and have a good outing and, you know, in tribute of, you know, family member. Or, you know, emotionally it can take a toll and you're just not there. Your thoughts aren't clear and, you know, you're kind of a little bit scattered in terms of how you're approaching it. So, you know, I knew we were going to go one of two ways. And, you know, fortunately it went the, the positive way for everyone. What do you think made his curve so good last night? You know, for him, a lot of times it's when he's committed to throwing it aggressively and he's, he's throwing it hard in that 80. 384 range it's usually pretty sharp and it doesn't really show its line too early sometimes when it's 79 to 82 it kind of has a little bit more hump it kind of doesn't really get to the finish that you know gets the swing and miss like last night but you know I did a really good job of landing it in attack counts early you know and then getting it for chase later so you know really nice job by him to move it around and Matt Blake went on to say that after that final out was completed, it was a combination of relief and excitement. You saw the celebration on the field, all the coaches hugging. I asked Matt Blake if he's going to keep anything from last night, and he said he definitely has the sheet of paper where he charts all the pitches that Domingo Herman threw last night, all 99 of them, so something that he will remember the evening by. And I spoke with Anthony Rizzo today in the clubhouse as well for Herman. He was dominant all evening long. There was one ball that was hit in the fifth inning where Rizzo had to make a diving play. And I asked him, was there any doubt you were going to make that play? And he said, well, it was the fifth inning. So you weren't necessarily thinking at that particular moment, perfect game. But looking back at the game in retrospect, he just smiled at me and said, I am really glad that I made that play. An evening that was certainly a special one on so many different levels.